Well, hello and welcome back. Uh, this video here is a response to a viewer's inquiry about uh, the HHO generator electrolyzer that I made a video of uh, the other day showing a Bedini SSG um, running the generator using the high energy spike off the coil and to produce uh, HHO. Now the question was did I think it was better and this is running off a solar panel out here, a 15 watt solar panel. The question was, would I think it was better just to go straight to the electrolyzer, electrolyzer and bypass the Bedini altogether? Would it be any better, worse? What was my thought on it? So I went ahead and ran the experiment today. Um, I put a fuse in the system and a diode to try to protect the, the system a little bit because uh, I was worried about ruining the panel by putting out too much uh, draw on it. So I added a variable resistor here, um, it's a rheostat, to try to control the uh, draw coming out of the panel. Now right now what's going on is uh, the panel is charging this battery so I could show voltages and draws and that's what's going on right now is the charging of this battery. Now what I'm going to do is disconnect the battery and hook up the electrolyzer straight to the solar panel. And the battery's disconnected. There's the voltage coming off the panel. There's no draw. Okay, now there is uh, the voltage and the draw on the solar panel. And the electrolyzer is now hooked up and operating. And there's the bubbles of hydroxy, HHO, coming out of the electrolyzer. And earlier I was timing this with this watch to uh, check flow rates and this is where this rheostat came in. I can vary the amount of production with this rheostat and if I dial this up this production goes up. And there's what the voltage looks like when you're pulling out a lot of juice out of that panel and there's the draw on it. Another thing that I didn't really like is this gets really hot. So I'm losing energy through heat through that variable resistor. But the, um, the production rate, I believe, is much better doing this than uh, going through the Bedini. I think this is probably a better way to go. And another thing I tried was hooking the battery back up to this while I was producing the HHO. And then using this rheostat right here to vary the flow. Now I can crank it way on up if I want to and that draws juice out of the battery of course you know, or I can dial this down and slow it down and uh, basically charge battery while I'm producing some hydrogen so my feeling on this was it's probably just simpler and easier just to go right into your electrolyzer with a solar panel rather than mess with the Bedini however earlier today I was using the battery on both sides of the Bedini back and forth and back and forth charging and then using energy into the cell and it did seem to work quite well using that little rheostat. But anyway that was the experiment this morning uh, was to see uh, see how this went straight into the electrolyzer and bypassing the Bedini. Now another thing that people are probably wondering is is this actually doing anything? I mean are we, are we accomplishing anything here? And that's where this comes in. Yeah, we, we, make, uh, we make something that's combustible, that's for sure. Anyway, that's the experiment today.